everyone. It's Creepy and E. Welcome to the channel. Hope everybody's having a wonderful and marvelous day and that you are in the best of health. Because health is everything in the season that we're living in. Today I'm coming with another uh, retirement perspective video. And this video is going to answer some questions that we've been getting from the channel. Okay, so we get a lot of questions about are you renting? Why are you renting? Shouldn't you be buying? Why are you not buying? Well, I got some very, very informative information for you why we just stand and still as per se buying versus renting. So, um, this is a good way to retire early. And we always talk about retirement perspective on our video and the qualities of our video to give you information, you that are following the channel and all our new subscribers, welcome. Far and wide, no matter what country you're in or what nation you're in, we want to give you information as you follow this channel so we're going to help you make better decisions and choices because information is inspiration. And a lot of people react and respond to certain things based on what they know or don't know. And in life, there's an old saying, is what you don't know can hurt you. So let's run through this quickly, shall we? I was looking at renting and buying a home and I was looking at the 5% rule. And I was looking at a mortgage payment, payment versus renting payment. Now mortgage payment, payment, is an uncoverable, un unrecoverable cost, okay, of owning. You got a mortgage payment, you got property taxes that go with that, with that, um, that mortgage payment, you got maintenance costs, and you got cost of capital. You got the cost of debt, and you got interest costs. So and equity, that's what I meant, equity, equity costs. So all these things must be considered when you buy a house. I'm just talking about mortgage right now. All these things must be considered when you're buying a house. Also, you gotta remember, you're always gonna have, especially if you're in a, a community, you're gonna have association fees. Now, some people don't have association fees. These association fees are no joke, okay? Because I lived in Mount's Edge in the community. And I'm telling you, if those trees ain't trimmed, the shrubs ain't trimmed right, association will give you a fine. You got a certain amount of days to get it right. If not, they'll just harass you to death. Some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. I've been through that too. And I rented this house, it wasn't even mine. But I had to be the one to climb up in the tree, trimming the branches, okay? So um, if not, like I said, you'll get right up. Now, when it comes to renting, unrecoverable cost of renting is, it's only the amount you are paying in rent. That's all you're gonna pay. It's the amount that you pay in rent and your utilities, okay? Um, if the rent goes up, then it's time to go. <laughs> but if the rent stay at a reasonable rate, then the renting, I would say um, it might be better than buying. Now when prices are high, the expected returns are lower. Did you get that? When prices are high, which is the high cost of a house these days, the expected returns are lower. So I've got some information for you in this video. And I'm going to share this guy with you guys that follow on this channel because I find this information to be very precise and very accurate. Because some of you still got questions about reading and buying. So, this guy name is Ben Felix. B E N Felix. F E L I X. YouTube. So, find him on YouTube like you found me. Subscribe to his channel because he's speaking some very, very educational stuff. Now, I believe he's from Canada, and it's amazing how somebody from another country 
can just bring information like this and that we can't get this kind of information in the U.S. And I'm thinking the reason is because they want you to continue to buy homes like it's nobody's business because all that money and taxes and fees go from the state to the government to everywhere else. So they don't want the economy sitting still or they don't want you having the information that, um, that you really would need to make some really precise decisions in your life. And he, he, he made a statement and I, I said, wow, this is crazy. But concerning housing, he says the best investment in history on paper. That's what he said, okay? So it's not complicated, it's common sense investing. So the 5% rule, stocks, would not have been a better, would, would, would have been a better investment than putting all your money in a $500,000 house. You've been better off than buying stocks. At the end of the day, you'd have been better, okay? So, let me rush quickly. A $500,000 $500, home would be estimated to have a $25,000 in annual unrecoverable cost, or $2,083 per month. I think that, I think that the 5% rule can be a useful tool when it comes to buying and renting. Also, he has another video, the same guy, Ben Felix, and he said, the case for renting and buying, part one. Make sure you look at that one. The case for renting and buying a home, part one. Common sense investing. Because American mindset is to buy as many houses as you can. Because they said that's the big American dream. Well, you got a lot of people, you got people that's paying rent in New York City and their rent is $2,400. You can get your big crib in Vegas for that kind of money. It takes a lot of work or upkeep on a house. And I know because I've had quite a few houses. You never get the full value when you sell. It's based on how long you had that house. And after you sell, Uncle Sam is waiting <laughs> for you to get that check so he can get his cut. Because he's definitely going to get his cut. So while your taxes are going up, you're losing money out of your pockets. When you can invest that money into something that will bring big bucks, big dividends in your pockets. Now when selling the house, it is the land, is the land size that they look at to determine their understanding of its true value and not your opinion of what you think the house is worth. Many people invest in putting a pool in their backyards but it doesn't bring any more value to the house. You think it do, but it really doesn't. It's just a bigger bargaining chip for the buyer. So the mindset in America is to tax you to death when buying a house in the U.S. That's the bottom line. This works different in other countries. And I'm a living witness. I've been to other countries. I've seen things. i watched things. i watched things. I see tutorials, videos, and I see what's going on in certain parts of the world. And some people are flocking to it. So as taxes go up, you pay more. Because taxes never stay the same, because they didn't stay the same for me when I had my house. I used to pay taxes once a year when I had the last house that I owned. Now, it was every six months, and my wife can tell you, every six months, big taxes, Uncle Sam will hit us, Everywhere he can hit us. And I didn't like that, like that at all. So you pay more, but you lose value. And the banks love it. The banks love every bit of it because when a person loses their home, the bank can take that house and turn it over and resell it and do what he wants to do. And everything that you put down, your down payment, all the hard work, all the upgrades, from the blinds, 
to the ceiling fans, everything else you pour your heart out to do in that, for that house. Something happens and you lose that house, you lose all that value. So, you that are moving overseas, and you that have somebody else taking care of your property in the States. That's a beautiful thing when you got somebody you can trust. But don't forget, you got to shell some cash out to them too. So that's cash coming out of your pocket. Because they ain't doing it for free. A certain amount of times you got you to make sure the grass is cut. You got to make sure that there's no leakage. It's just a lot of maintenance and things that's on your mind when you move outside the country knowing that you still have property in the United States that you got to reach in your pocket if you ever have a major plumbing problem or the concrete or the foundation now you got renters that are paying you but now you got to take some of that money and pay it back or maybe all of it sometime to pay it back for those repairs so it's something to think about I can't make the decision for you and only you can make that decision now, I'm not going to try to make it for you but only you can make that decision but just remember somebody got to babysit that property why are you out of the country? Somebody got to make sure that the association is paid. That the taxes go up. You pay the taxes. Because you're liable for everything that happened with that house. It's like babysitting that property. And if it don't bring in dividends, if it ain't making your bank account blow up at some point, maybe that wasn't a wise decision. That money that you're going to put pay that rent, you can come here, live cheap as cheap can be and put the rest of that money in the savings in, in, a, in a 401k or invest it but it's still free money and you it'd be great if you can come in and you still live like you live in the United States but take that money put that money in the bank and you watch and see how your bank account blows up so I just wanted to hit you up with that let me know what you think so in the meantime between the time always remember that life to be enjoyed. Hit that subscription notification and guess what? We'll see you on the next video.